I sense him. On the far edges of my mind, he stirs in the vault. But why? What's going on everyone, it's your Rifle here and thanks for checking out this video. In this one I'm going to be breaking down the new Osiris DLC trailer that recently came out along with some leaked info from a redditor, which by the way I have a link down below to this reddit post if you guys want to further investigate this. Before I get into all this though, just in case some of you don't know about it, I'll be talking about my new console giveaway that I'm currently doing at the end of this video. So make sure to stay tuned for that if you're interested or if you get bored during this video to just skip near the end. Okay, so first things first. As most of us know, we got a glimpse of what Osiris is going to look like, as you can see here, and his ghosts. And I have to say, they are looking so sweet. But something else to take a look at is his weapon. He is carrying a new weapon I have yet to see in the Destiny franchise, and knowing Osiris, this weapon will be somehow connected with Vex technology. Here we can kind of get a little glimpse of it in first person action. This is definitely going to be an exotic for sure. I'm guessing you unlock this from him after doing certain quest lines that he has. Also we can tell like I mentioned before it is going to be Vex related. The wiring and hardware over the weapon itself gives that away. And not to mention, it's Osiris' freaking weapon. Not sure how it's going to play out though, but seeming how Bungie is showing off this gun and having Osiris wield it, I believe it's going to be a wrecking machine. Anyways, besides Osiris' weapon and his sweet looking ghost, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but this right here where he's at is 100% a part of the Vault of Glass Raid from Destiny 1. This is an area where we fought the Templar in the Vault of Glass Raid, in case you guys don't know. There was also a leaked audio file from my Korra that was data mined from a Redditor talking about him dwelling in the vault. Check this out. This is what I played in the beginning, by the way. I sense him. On the far edges of my mind, he stirs in the vault. But why? So what's cool from this, we know that we will be returning to the Vault of Glass, which is located on Venus. So from that, we know now that we'll also be exploring and returning to Venus. There was also leaked audio files of Venus data mined by the same writer as well. Listen into a few of these for proof. There is a jungle paradise beyond the beauty of Venus, somewhere. There is danger in the jungles of Venus. Be wary. Good luck on Venus. We have few allies there. Venus past holds the key to the future. The war court's interests on Venus are in jeopardy. The past must be defended. There are rumors of Red Legion activity on Venus. I want them corroborated. The Ishtar Sink region on Venus is vital to our research. Yes, I knew you'd be game for another Venus run. The Ishtar Sink holds secrets new monarchy may be able to exploit. Now some of you may be wondering why we are going to the Vault of Glass. It's a pretty good question, honestly. It's not just because that's where we'll be finding Osiris. It's also because we are going to journey through time and space to prevent a dark future from happening. This is literally the official description from the Osiris DLC. And as some of you may know, the Vault of Glass Raid concept is based around the Vex and time. There were other leaks, by the way, of us returning to other old planets besides Venus. Here are a few of the audio files that were data mined, once again by the same Redditor. Mars is just a stepping stone on humanity's journey. Come with us. There may be some hope among the ruins out there, Guardian. Did you find anything on Mars to help the Red War? What's the strength of the Red Legion on Mars? The simulations vary. Were there signs on Mars of how the Red Legion slipped past us? With more successes like this, in time we will return to the cities of Mars. I'll pay for any Golden Age tech you uncover beneath the sand. I trust you know Mars fairly well. You've aided our cause on Mars, Guardian. Any Red Legion presence on the moon? Has the House of Dusk spread to the moon? Did you find any helium filaments out there? The city runs on it. The darkness on the moon is an offense to the war cult. Thank you. We need the moon as clear of danger as possible. Helium coils make up a significant percentage of city power. The Cosmodrome was a beacon of the Golden Age. We must know more. New Monarchy has a keen interest in the Cosmodrome. Head to Old Russia. Scour the Cosmodrome. Old Russia is calling, friend. So I'm not, of course, positive about this, but my assumption is we may be going to the other old planets to try and stop a dark future from taking place somewhere. Who knows? Just thought it was something interesting and went along with this topic and just wanted to share. Something also interesting to know, I know for a fact we'll be traveling through other gardens, like the Black Garden from Destiny 1. 
I'm guessing this is one of them that was shown in the DLC trailer, not too sure. The reason how I know this though is because there are a couple scannables on Nessus that hint at this. Listen in. If I'm reading this right, there are other gardens, like Black Garden Gardens. I couldn't tell if they were being built or were already destroyed. What does it mean? Hezen Protective. But I thought they were only deployed on Venus. Does this mean different Vex units have started traveling through gates? That's not great. Next up in the trailer, I wanted to take a look at this scene here. A lot of people were speculating that this is the reef, which is a great guess because of the color theme here, don't get me wrong, but it is not the reef. And the reason why I know this is because of the little details they added into this scene. If you notice, the pillars are in the exact same position as they were in the regular lighthouse, except, you know, they look a little bit destroyed now of course also there are candles still on the steps as well as the flag in the very beginning scene that is in the lighthouse and also this comes right after the lighthouse scene which i believe that's brother vance up there and he's going to be like a vendor or something at the lighthouse possibly and lastly another little detail to take a look at are the red flags in the background those are also in the lighthouse that is still intact i'm not exactly sure what exactly happened but maybe this is why we have to journey through space and time to prevent a dark future from happening. Maybe this is the dark future that we're seeing here, and we have to end up, once again, prevent this from happening. Also, last up in this video that I wanted to cover out of this trailer is that the Jade Rabbit, and also it seems the Thorn, will be returning in Destiny 2. But check out this scene right here. If you zoom in, you can notice that this looks like the same shape as the Thorn. And I believe it is. I mean, what do you guys think? Also, about the Jade Rabbit, you can see that at this scene. In case you guys don't know about these exotics, they were absolutely amazing in Destiny 1. A lot of players didn't get to play with the Jade Rabbit, though, just because it was a PlayStation exclusive. But it recently did just come out on the Xbox. So if you want to experience that and never did, you can try to get your hands on it in Destiny 1. I'm not exactly sure, though, if you really want to do that. And I do know for a fact we will be seeing more old exotics besides just the ones that I mentioned. How I know that is someone just recently data mined in the API and learned about some new perks of some upcoming exotics. A couple of the perks is triple tap and field prep. Also not to mention this one right here that was data mined seems to be extremely similar to the Bones of Ao hunter jump icons. Pretty interesting. So hey, we might end up seeing the Bones of Ao return. I hope they actually return because those were like one of the best exotics you could get for the hunter. I loved using those to get to places. It just made the hunter's jump so much better. In case you guys don't know what those did, basically it just added another jump, which was pretty handy, I'm not going to lie. Anyways, yeah, that's about wrapping up this video. Now let me go ahead and talk about my console giveaway that I'm currently doing. The winner will get to choose from an Xbox One, a PS4, or a Nintendo Switch. They'll get to choose from three different consoles. The winner will only get to, of course, choose one, but still. And I'll be ending this before December. So it'll basically be like an early Christmas present. And in case you guys are wondering, am I faking this giveaway or something else, I'll go ahead and leave a link down below in the description for you guys to go check out about me showing proof of my other old console giveaways being legit. The winners ended up making videos of them unboxing the consoles they won from me. I had asked them if they could record their self once they received it for, of course, proof for you guys. And also, I wanted to see their reaction, too. But in case you guys want to participate in this, it's real simple. All you have to do is simply leave a like on this video to show some support. Subscribe and click that bell if you haven't to stay notified. That'd be greatly appreciated. Also, just comment down below your thoughts of this video. It's literally that simple. You just got to show support on my videos, and I'm going to be choosing one random person who ended up showing support continuously. After all, my idea of this giveaway is to get support and in return i give something away but yeah i'm out of here good luck to everybody that is actually participating in this and remember to stay safe out there of course and try to avoid sleeping and pee it can get pretty nasty until next time peace Hi, it's mike johnston i'm actually going up okay and i won the actual contest for the uh, ps4 pro from rifle gaming
There's this, this is my son Michael, and we're gonna go up, okay, and unveil it. What is that? Trawler! Hey, 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 you gotta show up. Evan, move, baby. Hey, turn it around. Hey. Hey, say thank you, Rifle Gaming. Thank you. All right, stand up. Say thank you. Thank you. 